Faitine is a, a, a precious sister from Canada, and she has been uh, with us for many years, but I believe she carries an anointing of a release too. Go ahead, Faitine. Um, I, I think I would probably speak for everyone who's watching this right now. I'm just so overwhelmed with this moment, just what God is doing in all of our hearts. And um, it's so significant. The word uh, I was feeling over the last few days is about the significance of the deliverance that we're in the midst of. And as I was in prayer, I kept feeling this transposition of two parts of scriptures, of scripture. And one was um, the time when the Israelites were in Egypt and they were building and they were building with straw and they were building with um, perishable materials. They were building with mud, right? We know this. Um, and that was a part of their burden. That was a part of their bondage. That was their bondage. It was their yoke that they were building with corruptible things. And, and as I was in prayer, I just kept feeling um, transposed with first uh, Corinthians uh, three verse 12, where it says, now, if anyone builds on this foundation with gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, or straw, each one's work will become clear for the day the day of judgment will declare it because it will be revealed by fire and the fire will test each one's work of which sort it is. And if anyone's work, which he has built on endures, he will receive a reward. But if anyone's work is burned, he will suffer loss, but he himself will be saved yet. So as through the fire and do you not know that you are the temple of God, that the spirit of God dwells in you. But if anyone defiles the temple of God, he will be destroyed. And I felt like the Lord said that there's a few deliverances that are happening, that God is allowing through this coronavirus. Uh, you know, what else could bring us together in this moment? I don't know. It just feels God is just using what the enemy means for evil. And he's bringing, using it to bring us together. But he is shaking everything that can be shaken. And I feel that the deliverance is beginning with us. It's beginning with the church. It's beginning with the people of God, that God is allowing us to be delivered from the bondage of building with things that will not last, where we have labored into systems, structures, where we have put our faith in our bank accounts. Um, you know, I, I, I don't want to qualify it too much, but just, you know, that there have been things at times that maybe we have uh, put our efforts and our energy into that if truth be truth be declared that on the day of judgment when it's tested it may be consumed but god in his mercy and god in his great love for his church is bringing a purification right now through this shaking with the coronavirus that the things that that don't matter are being shaken off of us we're finding each other again we're finding devotion to the Lord. We're finding the alignment um, of our hearts that he is our provider, that he is our, our healer, that he is our government, that he is our king, he is our father. He is our savior, he is our Passover lamb, that he is the one. And I feel like the Lord is saying that as we embrace the shaking, that this Passover moment is unto delivering the body of Christ from corruptible labor. That we are starting, we're going to come out of this with a fresh grace and a fresh ability by his grace and by revelation to build with that which is precious, with precious stones, with gold, with incorruptible materials. And a part of this is the realignment, not just with one another, but with Israel. And the whole thing of, of the foundation that, that as the Israelites were building with corruptible material in bondage in Israel, so we all were in a sense because we have all come out of out of the root of, of Israel. We have all come out of Abraham. We are grafted in. And so, Father, I just want to say thank you, God. <laughs> Father, thank you. <laughs> thank you for delivering your church, God. <laughs> thank you for the shakings, God. <laughs> 
thank you for delivering us, God, from laboring, from bringing, from putting our strength into that which is corruptible. Thank you for your mercy, God, to realign us, Father. Thank you for your mercy, God, that is helping us to find each other and to find you. And Lord, we come again with one heart, declaring that you, oh Jesus, are worthy of it all. You are worthy of our time. You are worthy of our strength. You are worthy of our labor, that you are worthy of our finances, of our affections, God, that you are our Passover lamb. You are our government. You are our health care system. You are our provider. You are the one who leads us on. And God, here now as representatives of the nation, Lord, we align ourselves with your heart, but God, not only your heart, your ways, Lord, that you would baptize your church globally, even now, God, even at this Passover mint, with a grace to build no longer with straw and mud that we are being delivered, not out of labor, but into a labor that will be fruitful for that which is eternal, for that which will remain. And this has everything to do with souls, and it has everything to do with signs and wonders, and it has everything to do with the establishment of his ecclesia and the true, pure expression of the kingdom. Father, turn over the tables and bring forth a pure offering in your house. You are our Passover God. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. We honor you. We revere you. And we submit to your fire. Thank you, Faithine.